Hey, what's up everybody? Lex here, and welcome to part three of my end of the year 2013 video. Um, channel hasn't even been up a year yet, so this is the first time I'm doing this, but I just have to say first off, thank you to everybody who subscribed. Over 150 subscribers in the first year, um, which is funny to me because, you know, I'm a pretty boring guy, so that kind of, that's kind of a, a, a testament to how uh, supportive the retro game hunting uh, community is on YouTube and how uh, basically I you know I've, I've had YouTube channels before um, that have had you know many more subscribers uh, doing something similar but not quite the same uh, and you know even the more views and, and the more people talking to me and stuff like that um, you know, I, I definitely, I'm definitely glad I traded it in uh, to make this new channel and get this tightly knit community that I've seen so far. A lot of you have helped me out, uh, whether it be inspiration or whether it be uh, keeping me going, advice, etc., etc., even trades for that matter. And I wanted to kind of give you guys a thank you back. Not that I have a huge fan base of, of subscribers to, you know, uh, expose your video to. But uh, this is more of an appreciation thing more than anything else. So the first channel I want to talk about is Business 17. A lot of you know Business 17. And basically what how I got into game hunting was uh, it kind of starts back with Pat the NAS Punk and um, watching the Flea Market Madness videos. Uh, that kind of got me into wanting to retro game, uh, but actually wanting to go out and find these games for cheaper prices, uh, that was more of Business 17. I remember one day I had to do some cleaning around the house and I had my laptop and I put it on the counter and one of his videos was in the description or like the suggestions and I decided to click on it I liked it so much that I decided to basically go through all their videos and watch um, everything they had at, up until that point that was back in March April around that time and I decided you know what this seems pretty cool I should probably go out and, and try it once I tried it once and I was hooked so without Business 17, that probably would have never happened. This video would not be going on right now, and I wouldn't have the collection that I have today without Business 17. So even though I've never spoken to anyone from that channel, um, they are a huge inspiration to me as far as getting this collection going. The second channel I want to give a shout out to is Outstanding Oshawott 2. Um, he's a YouTuber that basically kind of caught my videos early on and uh, was nice enough to comment on them and uh, I, I started watching his videos kind of in return and uh, I'm glad I did because uh, his videos are very entertaining. He's a big Pokemon fan so if you like Pokemon it's right up your alley but mainly he's a very charismatic young dude so uh, go check his stuff out. He not only uh, does the Pokemon stuff but he has a separate channel for uh, game collecting as well, and I'll link both those channels down in the underballs. The third channel I want to uh, give a shout out to, and of course, you know, who doesn't watch them? The Game Chasers. Uh, they kind of presented game hunting to me in a very accessible way by putting it in terms of okay, well, this is a show that I'm familiar with, the, the style American Pickers blah 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 and and kind of put the humorous spin on it uh, my cousin Ryan and I both are fans of the show and you've seen Ryan before in one other video uh, episode 14 co-op chaos and uh, it, it's I, I mentioned him because it's the same story you know I, I took him out game hunting that one time I said if you want to kind of get a better feel for how this goes how game chasing go um, watch these videos you know they're, they're funny they're great quality um, and you know they're pretty much the standard for for game hunting game chasing whatever you want to call it so uh, the next channel I want to give a shout out to is a very well-known channel as well that's NES Complex um, NES Complex 
I started, I, he was like the next YouTuber after Business 17 that I started watching all his videos. And very well done, um, very interesting videos at that. And it wasn't so much game hunting, but kind of diving into those retro games. And uh, it was a nice side piece to Business 17's videos, which were strictly game hunting. And he, uh, being a NES Complex rather, he kind of presents all his videos in um, a very smart and creative way. Scorpion Slayer 66, another dude like Outstanding Oshawa 2 who kind of caught my videos early on, commented on them, um, watched his videos back, blah blah blah. Uh, it could have been the other way around, I started commenting on his videos, I can't remember really, but uh, Scorpion Slayer 66 is a really cool dude, um, really nice guy, and he is kind of the epitome of what the game hunting uh, community on YouTube should be. Uh, it's just a stand-up guy, and um, he's always there commenting on my videos, and you know that's that's awesome, and I appreciate that a lot, and it helps me keep going. So, uh, Scorpion Slayer 66. Next up is Craigslist Game Finds, uh, another channel with a huge fan base already. A lot of you probably came over from their channel, um, and that's because they subscribed to me and, and commented on my videos when you know I was already a fan of their stuff. So when I saw that, oh hey, they're commenting on my videos, it was kind of it was almost surreal. Uh, it was just really cool of them to do so and uh, regardless of their fan base and how large it is and how successful their channel is, they're really down to earth people so um, go check them out if you haven't already, if you haven't, I don't know how, how you haven't found them already but they've got great game finds and uh, they're really funny too. Next one is a, uh, a channel that kind of disappeared uh, in the last few months, which is sad because uh, his videos started about the same time as mine, and um, you know, I almost felt like we went into this together, even though I had no clue who he was when I started this, and he didn't have any clue who I was, uh, but that's AJ's Game Room, and uh, he <laughs> blew me out of the water, basically, with his finds and his pickups. Uh, on a weekly basis, this guy was getting tremendous stuff, and again, another really nice dude and really stand-up guy uh, to go along with the community. Uh, I kind of wish that he would pop back up again soon. Hopefully he does, but uh, in the meantime, check out his other videos because they're really awesome. King Carl, um, another guy who was early on uh, commenting on my stuff and uh, checked out his channel he's got an amazing N64 collection and uh, the guy is really nice as well uh, but another guy who kind of disappeared in the uh, later half of the year I don't know if that's because you know stuff just stopped coming becoming available or stuff's going on in his life or whatever but check out the old videos and hopefully he'll return subscribe to him as well TJ from Married Guy Gamer, who actually I uh, uh, found through Business 17. Uh, Business 17 kind of gave him a shout out. They did a trade, I believe, and he was just starting out. And I checked his video out, and uh, I, I, I like what he does. It's no frills, it's here's my pickups, and uh, a genuinely nice guy. Automatically, right away, like, you know, I, I, I appreciate the guys who um, go the extra mile and put that that extra spin on their videos, uh, but I also really appreciate the guys who just sit down, show you what they got, talk about it a bit, and you get to know them that way without um, all the crazy transitions in their video and stuff like that. Not to say that that's bad or anything, but um, TJ at Merry Guy Gamer, an awesome channel, follow him, he's going full steam ahead with this. So uh, there's going to be a lot of content coming up, I'm sure. And finally, uh, a channel that I appreciate because my wife and I can actually sit in the living room, uh, maybe with a meal or something like that, and watch their show, and that's Retro Liberty. Um, and the reason that is is because they have a really goofy sense of humor. My wife loves it. I love it. Um, and it's, it's just something we can... It, it, there's a common ground 
to their videos. And she's not a big gamer, but uh, you know she enjoys goofy comedy and stuff like that. I love game hunting, so there's something for both of us. And it's really probably the best on the internet as far as production, production wise. Amazing stuff. I can't believe the editing that 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 Ricky and and Aaron do. Um, I, it blows my mind because I've been using video editors for a very long time, and I know the work and the time that goes into making edits and stuff like that. So um, I'm definitely very appreciative of what they do and what they put out for free. Good entertainment on a constant basis, and obviously fun for the whole family. So. Uh, Retro Liberty, you're probably already subscribed to them, but if you're not, go check them out. Well, that's going to do it for my shout out video. There's a lot of you that have subscribed to my channel, that have commented on my videos, and I'm appreciative of you all. Unfortunately, I can't get everyone in one video, uh, but I want to thank again everybody for subscribing. 2013 was a good year. I got a lot of great pickups. 2014, I'm thinking it's going to be a lot better though. I know what I'm doing uh, this time around. Kind of, and uh, hopefully I'll get some more out in the field footage and find a way to do that too. So again, thank you so much for uh, subscribing to my channel, and uh, hopefully you're along for the ride in 2014. Until then, see you folks.